Hi guys, welcome back to Azure channel. So in this video, we will be dealing with the parvoviral infection in pigs. That is the porcine parvo. So the porcine parvo occurs worldwide and is endemic in many swine herds. So the main problem is the reproductive problem in case of parvo. So the etiological agent is the porcine parvovirus mainly producing reproductive disorders smethi so we will be coming to the smethi so you have to always remember whenever you are remembering parvovirus in case of porcine you have to remember about smethi so the susceptible host is actually the domestic pigs and the wart hogs can be susceptible transition transmission is actually through the oro nasal and also transplacent so venereal transmission in case of semen also possible so the predisposing factor is actually uh, all the infected herds and the carrier state. So the PPV, porcine parvovirus is a viral disease which only affects the pregnant animal by damaging the unborn litter. So stillborn pigs, delayed farrowing, progressive mummification, small litters and return to service will be very late. So incubation period is 10 to 14 days. So the character is actually the virus has been isolated in association with the reproductive failure. So what is this maybe? It's actually stillbirth, mummification, embryonic death, ED, and infertility. This is the condition associated with the porcine parvo. Smedi. So the pathogenesis is actually oronasal infection in the non-immune pregnant pig is followed by local replication of virus, and the virus will go to the blood, which will produce the presence of virus particle in blood, that is viremia. Through the placenta, the virus goes into the embryo. So, what happened? The embryo gets infected and it will start mummification, embryonic death. So, the mummified fetus is the main, dead aborted fetus is the main, and healthy piglets will not come out. Abortions are uncommon actually. Embryo or the fetus, if before 30 days, that is, if before 30 days it is passing, embryo or fetus will die and is resolved and the feed dam will return to the estrus. So if at all the transmission is in the 30 to 70 days period, fetus will die and become relatively dehydrated that is mummification. So this is actually the example of mummified fetus in case of porcine parvo. You can see this stage. So this is actually the hemorrhage present in the heart of the dam. So heart of the dam and also the whenever the piglets you are doing the postmortem you can see many many ectimotic or petechial hemorrhages in the heart surface pericardium. So this is uh, affected pig dam. Cyanosis of the ears, cyanosis of the snout region and the eye region can be present. This is mummified fetus. So you can see this very clarity image you can see the stages of mummification so the fetal mummification fetal death in domestic animals in the mid gestation or the last trimester period will be occurring the most times and fetal mummification is uncommon during the first trimester because of fetal death so other viral causes of may include porcine enterovirus and prrs ibr and porcine Herpes virus, that is pseudorabies, which is Ojeski disease. So, macroscopic lesion is the aborted or mummified fetus. So, moving to the microscopic lesion, infiltration of the PMNLs in the reproductive tissue, inclusion bodies in the reproductive tissue. So, you can see. So, diagnosis is actually fluorescent antigen staining of the frozen sections of fetal tissues. Immunity is lifelong. Once the pig is affected with this parvovirus, and if it has come out of the virus or the become seronegative, it will have the lifelong immunity. So that there is no treatment, but you can give supportive care. So prevention and control is actually through the proper hygiene practices and the vaccines. So this is the vaccine used in case of porcine parvo. So thank you guys.